It's really amazing uh, what you created. You know, the, the, this painting has really captured your attention. And Thanks. you start seeing one thing, and then you just have to go, and it goes around, and, and it's really fantastic. And do you do? Do you use any um, any any other medium? So it will be this is a mixed medium, um, right? Uh, yeah. So well, it's it's all acrylic, but um, but some of it is sprayed acrylic, some of it is um, painted acrylic. You know, brushes. Um, I use brushes, I use trowels, I use credit cards to smear the paint. I use pretty much everything to kind of apply the paint. Um, and, then I, and then I use a lot of masking, a lot of tapes, and a lot of um, cutting out shapes. And you want to talk about this painting right here, the, uh, that one right there. It's very, that, that's a beautiful painting right there. Thank you. Do you use the same technique? Same technique. Um, on this one, what I think is interesting is that I, I masked like this area um, up here. And then I actually used a trowel to put a, a fairly thick um, stroke on. And then I removed the tape so that you actually end up getting the, the thickness and the edges of the stroke um, that show through on the layers. So right up in here, you can kind of see that. And you see, you see the uh, contrast between the yeah. paints. And the yeah, scene. whereas in a lot of the areas of the other paintings, there's a, a real thinness, a real sort of delicate hand to it. And you know, what I like is that you don't use any shiny uh, you know, to cover the paint, you know, mm -hmm. and it's just a natural paint. Yeah, know? yeah, well, it's, a lot of it's the raw canvas softens things, and that's, that's one of the things that I found is that if you're, if I had gessoed all of these, then um, then the, the, the way the paint sticks is different. You sometimes you get a little plasticky feel, whereas if you're, if you're using the raw canvas, then it ends up being more natural. Do you make a, do you make your own canvas or you buy uh, you buy your canvas um, already? Um, I stretch I stretch the canvas, but um, I don't make the stretchers. I, I buy the stretchers. Mm -hmm. um, this one's this is an aluminum stretcher. Um, a couple of them are aluminum stretchers, and then some of them are, are wooden stretchers that um, that I have somebody build for me. Oh, very good. And now, where do you work? Do you work in uh, in this area? Or where are you going from? Claremont. Claremont. Uh, yeah. So my my studio's in Upland. Um, I went to school in Claremont and then just stayed out there. And um, and so, yeah, I do that, and then I teach down in Santa Ana College and Fullerton College. Okay, if you, if you want to send a message to the new generations, uh, new people who are trying to break into the art, what would you be? What would you be? Oh, that's, that's tough off the top of my head. Um, I, think there's a, I think there's an idea that everything's already been done, and I think that that idea is false. There's always new combinations. There's always new things that you can push forward. Um, sometimes it's about really minute changes, sometimes it's about being very specific about what you do. But, um, but I think that there's room if you're willing to actually put the time and effort and work into it. So, thank you very much for your time, man. Really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs>